All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to hook your PlayStation 5 controller up to your Windows 10 PC using Steam. So Steam has a lot of great drivers for basically every controller you could think of, including random third-party controllers. And all you really have to do is open up the settings panel. If yours looks a little bit different than mine or behaves a little bit differently, I've got the Xbox extended feature support driver installed down here. There's a button for it right here to install it. You will have to restart your computer though, just as an FYI. Um, but all you gotta do is come over here and it has toggles for additional support for various types of controllers, including the PlayStation controller is right here. So I'm just gonna toggle that on to make sure all of the compatibility is on. But by default, it detects all the controllers that much fuss or must. So I'm gonna plug my controller in right now. And then it should appear up at the top here under controllers once it's fully like plugged in, wakes up and all that jazz. So there it is. And one of the options you have if you're using a Nintendo controller is you can have it use Nintendo button layout by using this toggle right here. But other than that, it's already ready to go. You can just start playing with this right now. You don't really have to do anything else, but I'll explain what some of this other stuff does. So one of the things you can do is you can test the inputs on this, and you can flick around your joysticks and press buttons to make sure they're all detecting and working, and that it's all doing stuff, which is good. You can, it even has detection for the touchpad, which is really cool, and the touchpad button, and the PlayStation button, and the little button down here. It like mutes and unmutes your microphone. Just as a good way to test that out. It also displays all of the buttons as PlayStation buttons in this menu, which is also fairly nice. And then you can also go in here and you can do some manual calibration, like increasing your dead zones. If it seems like it's got a lot of stick drift problems, you can calibrate your gyroscope by clicking on this button and letting this controller sit on your desk for a minute. You can check your output settings or even change the LED color. So all of those are really handy to have in here. And that's really all you gotta do. Like these other things are just things like changing guide button focuses on Steam, enable Steam input for switch controllers, generic controllers, turn off controllers when exiting big picture mode, pretty simple stuff. And then down here at the bottom, you can edit the desktop layout for what these buttons do when you're messing around on your desktop or you can change the guide button cord layout as well by clicking on edit down here. But for the most part, it's just plug and go. You just plug it in, make sure all the buttons are working here in the test window. And if you really want, you can tweak inside the game that you're playing usually more than through Steam, what each button is bound to. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has just been a quick little guide on how to enable full support for PlayStation controllers and plug your PS5 controller into your your Windows PC using Steam. I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.